Welcome to Warrior and today I want to show you how to make a sign using a Katsu palm router, but it could be any palm router. But first we're going to start with this piece of old oak, which is a piece of village from a French roof. Now I've printed my letters, in this case it's going to say Patreon, and we're going to use a sheet of carbon paper, for which we are going to stick down first and then our letters on top of that. Now we're not routing through this, no, we're using the carbon paper to transfer the word onto the wood. Now I'm going to use this rule and a ballpoint pen and I'm going to do all the straight lines first. So I'm basically just drawing over the straight lines, the straight parts of the letters. And finishing up using a bit of freehand curvy drawing bits on the ends where it's rounded and stuff. So I'm going to carry on drawing around all these letters and if you didn't know Patreon a support system you can become a Patreon of a website or another channel or this channel if you like for which I'll leave a link in the description down below well I've almost transferred all the letters over onto the piece of wood but you can't see it yet no but you will in a moment because we're going to remove the carbon paper Lo and behold, it's like magic. We have words now on the piece of wood. So now I've got my router. And this is like I say, it's a Kitsu router. It costs about 30 squids. Yeah, it's a cheap, that is some Chinese import. But I need to change the bit first because it's got the round over bit in it, which I use well, for rounding over, taking off the corner of a piece of wood to make it round. So we now put a six mil straight cutter bit in. Just a fluted rotor cutter. Set the depth to about 3 or 4 mil. Because I don't want it too deep. And then we're going to, well, freehand router. It's like carving the piece of wood with a router by hand. Now these little catchy routers are quite good, apart from the vision isn't, is a bit hard to see through the gap in the side, as you can see. That's one of the reasons I like to use my big router sometimes. But you can see it does a perfectly adequate job of routing out these letters. Now this is freehand, so don't expect them to be absolutely perfect. They might be a little bit wobbly, but that's not the router's fault, that's me. Because I'm a bit wobbly. So we're going to carry on routing all these letters out, trying to keep the straight lines straight, and then concentrating on the curves of the letters. At this stage, you don't want to obviously be overzealous and take too much material out. You're better off waiting and going back and having a little bit of a titillation afterwards. Otherwise, you're at risk of making your little your letters too fat. That just won't do. No. So we've got a D. We've got a D. And now we're going to do the R. For the Rion. So this is the Patreon. Now Patreon is a really good service that they provide there. And it's good for, like, for channels like my own. Who rely quite a lot on support from those who watch the channel. You don't make much on um, views, for instance, unless you're a big channel. Small channels like this pretty much make nothing at all. So now we've got the O. We've got two letters left. So we're going to route with the last two letters. Now the curves like that are quite difficult when doing O because you want it to be uniform on both sides of the O. So having that guide, having the letters transferred over onto the piece of wood using a sheet of carbon paper really does help. You can scribble your words on or your letters on uh, by hand if you want. But if you want any uniformity, I first use Affinity Photo, find an outline, so I end up with a line drawing of the letters, print it off on my um, laser printer, and then I can do what I like. I've used carbon paper, or I could literally just stick the letter the sheet onto the piece of wood if you like. I don't like doing that with a router, but it's perfectly good if you're using it to cut letters out with a scroll. There we are, we have all our letters, and now it's time to sand the fluffy bits off off all the edges so I just basically sand the surface as you can see we now have a Patreon Ta -da, Patreon so what do we do with it now? on its own it's a bit bland isn't it? it needs a bit livening up somewhat so what are we going to do? we are going to paint our letters black you can choose whatever colour you like pink if you so must not my choice, but you never know. I suppose it depends on what you're doing. So you've got to try and get it all into all the little nooks and crannies. It's actually harder than it actually looks to actually get it in everything you can see this place I've missed. 
get the... You can't really overdo it at this stage. And I'm going to wipe off the excess paint. And then I decided to, well, do the whole lot <coughs> and wipe it off. It's almost acted like a stain. You can either leave it like that and put some, once it's dry, put some clear coat onto it, so a clear varnish. Or you can do what we're going to do and sand it off again. <laughs> Just put all that on there, you've got to take it all off again. But. We're not taking out the letters, no. The letters are still blue. That's why I like it. So they see the word a little bit clearer. Yeah. You can make really cool house signs like this if you want. Now we're just preparing it so we can screw it onto the walls using a countersink bit. But they've got 10 mil plugs. We're gonna stick in the holes which we created earlier, blue beta style. That just cover the screw heads up. You might want to see the screw heads. You see the letters a little bit wonky. So if I was a little bit more careful, I could have done a better job than that. But I wasn't. So there we go. We're now applying the special finish. There's some I prepared earlier. Yes, it's linseed oil. Boil linseed oil like that. Extra bit of finish. Polish it all off. And then leave it to dry. But how about that? Didn't cost a penny. No, not a penny. It was free. I like free. Thank you for watching and be most kind and click like and subscribe and maybe that bell icon. Because then you get a warm fuzzy feeling in your pocket every time I upload another video. And if you want to support us on Patreon or buy us a coffee, the links are down below. Thank you and ta-ta.